Oh, that was short. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, my name's Cove. I'm gonna leave that up real quick because this is not adjusted the way I had it before. Here we go. Uh, so, we're doing some. Uh, got a couple of replays from ranked battles. We're doing a video on the, how bad this season of ranked is because of all the absolute shitters that are playing it. Uh, um, and I'm not talking about like 1200, 1300 recent players. No, I'm talking about like 400 recent players that are playing ranked because they can get more. Battle pass points by playing the Kron in ranked than they can actually playing it in random battles. So this first game's on proc, playing in the VZ55. You see Asian on my team, which is actually like a kind of an awkward coincidence that happened. Like we didn't count in together. It just like this was my first game of ranked, and he had been playing uh, for about 30 minutes before I even logged on, and uh, we apparently just clicked in at the same time. The, the internal comms between us did not help at all. Obviously when you're playing two completely different classes of tank, it's not really gonna help. And Asian doesn't really have a good battle here, so... From what I remember, um... This is probably gonna end up being like one of my best games of the season. Uh, for XP-wise, and I'm pretty sure I don't even get two chevrons out of this game, so... Um... Obviously a great start to the season. Uh, so, as you can see through the team list, um, yeah, teams are not really exactly b balanced. There's a mega player on the enemy team, which is all cool, you know? But we do have a Gold League player, two Vibers, a Gunzu 2, which is Gunzu. Uh, that's, like, okay. It's still better than, like, most of their team. And we have an MK2 player, which is uh, also not bad. So, we really had a really good team here, and they didn't. Now I have to deal with a damage gun for 90 seconds here. Um, which was unfortunate. But I also don't shoot a lot in this 90 seconds, so... Oh. The enemy team in this game really made a lot of uh, stupid plays. They weren't aggressive. They were just stupid. They were high risk, low reward kind of uh, plays. And yeah, you kind of got to limit the amount of those you do. Um, this EBR on my team with three marks of excellence was completely pissing me off. The entire game. Um, I don't really know what he was doing. He ended up getting uh, more XP than me, so apparently, you know, he knew what he was doing, but... I, every every time I went up to the middle ridge, I just got spotted, and uh, it was kind of annoying. So a blind shot, the super conk from across the map. Like to like to see it out of render, I guess. I'm not really blind. I didn't even realize he was spotted. I just kind of like threw up a shot there because um, yeah, because I'm a bad player. And that's uh, something I am going to talk about, is uh, so far in, uh, um, I am like at rank 7 of Division 3, and uh, I have a uh, performance of 65%. I have played a total of 8 maps. I checked. I've played a total of eight maps in about 40, not 40, 30 something games. Maybe it's getting closer to 40. 
I've played eight maps. I've played Highway four times. I have played Proc twice. I have played um, Malinovka t three times. I've played Westfield twice. I've played Safe Haven three times. Uh, there's one more that I really need to think about. Oh, Siegfried Line. I've played that twice also. Um, you know, when I when I talked when I did my video about the uh, changes to Siegfried Line, if I did I do a video on the changes to Siegfried Line? I have no clue. I don't remember honestly. I remember talking about it, but maybe that was on a live stream. Um, so. Uh, whenever they made the changes to Siegfried line, I, uh, I thought they were good changes until I played it. And then I realized the changes did nothing to make the map better or worse. That was a bad, terribly aimed shot. And yeah, there we go. Um... I can't stand Siegfried Line. It is my least favorite map in the game that I do not have blocked. Um, and in fact, um, since the changes were so bad, and yeah, just VZ accuracy, I'm aiming directly at a weak point of the Type 5. And gonna miss. But that's just kind of how it goes with the VZ. It's why uh, you want to, like, I don't know. Limit the amount of times you play the VZ in ranked, but not um, like overly limited, if that makes sense. Like, it's a good tank to play in ranked, it's just no. It doesn't have the accuracy of the Kronvong, and then that was just a badly aim shot. It doesn't have the accuracy of the aim time of the Kronvong, it doesn't have the clip potential of the Kron, doesn't have the gun depression of the Kron. Has a better mobility than the Kron, uh, from power to weight ratio. It has slightly better hull armor than the Kron, uh, much worse DPM. But I do prefer the VZ over the Kron in random battles, but uh, in ranked, and I just like, I, I fuck with Age in there, because, you know, he was, he was in my game and there's like no way we were going to do any more damage to this SCV, so I thought, oh wait, I don't do any more damage to this SCV, that's right. Oh yeah, I do. Oh. Nah. Um, yeah. So there's the first game. It's garbage. I hate ranked this season. This season is garbage. So I'll be back with the next one. And uh, yeah. There you done? Okay, cool. We're back. Um, so I was thinking about going south here. And then I was like, wait a minute. No, that's so dumb. Why would I go south? Um, uh, I shouldn't have delayed the going up the hill here. It ended up being a really bad idea to delay it anyway because it really cut down um, some of my crossing ability but then again so does this 277 that just appeared on my screen we're just gonna absolutely destroy this guy um, this was the second day this was um, is this What? This was yesterday? I don't think this was yesterday. Oh, it had to have been yesterday, because I didn't really... I only played two qual or two non-qualification games um, the first day. I played two uh, division games the first day, and I got zero chevrons. Both of them were wins. Um, but, uh, yeah. I have a toxicity problem, apparently, only when it comes to ranked, um, as every tank just jumps on my screen. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, shouldn't be ridge poking and stay tank with uh, 395 millimeters of heat pen, but I did it anyway. Not proud of that, not proud of that. 
But we're going to get a couple juicy shots in. Already up to 2,000 damage in this game. I do like the SCB in ranked. I do like Westfield. I think Westfield is probably one of the most skilled maps in the, in the, in the game. Uh, I think... Oh, I didn't even talk about Abby. I played Abby like four times yesterday alone. Uh, and that has got to be the least skillful map in the game, in my opinion. It is three corridors with a no man's land on the right side of the Abbey. But these open maps like this, I do I do fine, like quite well. Uh, El Haloof, I do really well on um, like every single fucking game. Uh, safe Haven, I love Safe Haven. I think Safe Haven is one of the best maps in the game. Uh, I know that is not a shared opinion that a lot of people share, or that is not an opinion that a lot of people share with me, but I think Safe Haven is a great map for ranked. I think Highway is absolute dog shit and just should be removed from the game because of how fucking awful it is. And I think that, uh, what was the other one? I had another one that I really thought should not be in ranked that I'd played. Um, there, there are just like, there's some maps that I don't, oh yeah, Sickford Line. I don't think Sickford Line should be in the game anymore. I think they should just take it out and completely rework it. Uh, I don't, I don't like the map. I don't think it's a good map. Uh, it's probably the worst in the game or bottom three maps in the game for me anyway. Uh, the North just has a superior city positioning and the South can only play the field really. Um, and the South can only win the game from the field, it seems like. So, like, eh, it's kind of a bad map. I, it takes me forever to realize that the CS63 got spotted behind me in this game. But, yeah. I, I think they need to, like, kind of think about what they're doing with Ranked and kind of, like, give it a little bit of a reset for next uh, season. Uh, I don't like the fact that you can get more battle pass points by playing ranked in two of the most annoying tanks to play in ranked in the Leo and and uh, Crane. You know, because it is it is cranked after all. So you're, you're gonna see three Kronvogs per game, except for in this game, you're not, you're never gonna see less than two. Really, I had one game where I didn't see any, and I was like, oh yeah, and I ended up actually doing very very well in that game it's crazy how you how well you can do if you don't have to capola snipe the whole time and you're not uh, constantly getting screwed by RNG because you're capola sniping the whole time it's kind of a uh, hard thing to do but uh, I don't think that ranked is actually like that good of a a, a thing of showing player skill I think it does show, like, the difference between Silver League and, and Gold League obviously shows who the better players are. I don't think it shows that much of a difference between Silver and Bronze. I think the difference between lower-end Silver and higher-end Bronze is is luck and team-based. Because, I don't know. Uh, that's just my feeling about it. Um, obviously, as I was... Uh, nearing the top of bronze from last season I, I think the cutoff between silver and bronze was like 98 96 percent something like that uh these qualification or these uh these performance numbers keep going down every season though it seems uh people are like oh it's so easy to play ranked it's it's <laughs> it's getting harder because of all the the morons in the game so uh i'll be back with the post game stats of both these games and we're back um so, uh, the proc game uh, ended up being uh, 4,500 damage, even at the end of the game. I think I saw 3.7. Uh, I think I hit the grilled one once and the EBR blind once. 
Oh, I set him on fire. Huh. Well, anyway, uh, this was a two-chef round game. I'm completely uh, done. This was my first game of the season of rank. The EBR actually did know what he was doing as he <laughs> got 7k combined and two kills. Um, I also got pretty close to getting 7k combined, but, you know, compliance with vehicle roll and assistance is more important than doing actual damage in uh, rank, so, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, and uh, something else I didn't even uh, mention was the fact that the uh, experience system, to me at least, makes no sense. Uh, there was a 277 on one of my games. I spotted for like a thousand damage in a heavy tank, and he spotted for zero, and we got the same amount of assistance XP. He spotted or tracked for no assisting damage whatsoever. He got uh, somewhere between 9 and 15 XP. And I got uh, somewhere between, I don't remember, it was between 9 and 15. But we got the exact same amount of uh, experience for assistance. And uh, I was the only one who did assistance. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not exactly sure how the assistance uh, damage actually works. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure I actually, yeah. I got assistance damage in this also, even though I did no assisting damage. I did knock out some tracks, I guess. So I guess if you just constantly shoot somebody's tracks out, you get assisting damage. Uh, you obviously get it for spotting. Uh, you get a bit for spotting. Uh, neither one of us spotted any tanks in that game. Uh, I spotted people after they were already spotted, but yeah. I don't know, man. It is so dumb. Uh, but the STB on um, Westfield was 5k. Uh, four kills. Two chevrons. Uh, got me up to rank four. This was not a bonus battle, unfortunately. Um, would have been getting close towards a ace tanker in a random battle, which is always nice. Um Basically, if I only played the STB, I would actually be gaining chevrons instead of um, kind of like leveled out as to where I am. Uh, but yeah, so uh, what's the plan for me for the rest of the rank season? I don't really want to show this because this is hot garbage. Um, the entire reason I'm even playing ranked and I'm not even going to the right place is to get the SP2. That's all I want from it. Uh, I'm still not in the right spot. Rewards. Where are the rewards? There we go. I, I want to get as far through it as I can. I want to maintain at least like making it through ranked, but it has been hot garbage so far. Um... But I want the SP2. I need one more token, so I need to complete the uh, third division. It sh should not be difficult whatsoever. Um, and uh, I'll get a Silver League style out of it, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, I want to maintain at least uh, Bronze League, so I at least want to complete ranked. Um, if I can, I should be able to. I don't actually have to work too much during uh, the prime time of ranked for this uh, this season. But yeah, uh, if you want to uh, watch me suffer through some ranked and uh, rage a little bit, I will probably be streaming it the rest of the time I'm playing it. So yeah, that's always fun. But yeah, mostly I just uh, not having fun with uh, with ranked battles this season. It's it's uh, been a bit of a too much of a grind and uh, way too one sided with the team layouts. There's too many crons. Uh, there's too many leos. Um, there's too many bad players in general playing it. Players that have no chance of even making it to the end of third division. 
um, players that will have one game where they'll get two chevrons, and they might get a chevron if they win, but they're going to have, like, a performance percentage of, like, 25%, and there's no way you're going to complete ranked with that. Um, I think the lowest I've ever seen of someone completing ranked was, like, a 70 or 68, somewhere in there. I'm just trying to complete third division for right now, and then I would like to keep going. Uh, hopefully more and more of these, like, shit players who um, stop me from making my plays, um, block me from going to a spot I want to go to. Um, drive in front of my shots. Uh, play positions that their tanks can't play because of either a lack of gun depression or just a lack of turret armor i mean it's just <laughs> it's been bad i have seen really shitty play from a lot of really shitty players so with that being said i just hope that the it gets better <laughs> uh, hopefully i play better I haven't been playing just like outstanding, but I expect the games to go a certain way in ranked and they don't go that way, I guess. And I have a hard time adapting to that, I think is what the problem is. So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Uh, come stop by the streams if you want to watch me struggle through ranked at least through third division so I can get my SP2 and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time